Hey guys, um, for our readings this week, I am feeling and missing baseball, so I want to do some baseball books. So this one is called Mudball, and it's written by Matt Travis. One fateful spring day in 1903, little Andy Euler practiced his swing and tried not to listen to the heckling fans on the opposing team, the St. Saint Paul Saints. Hey, Shorty, I bet you can't even hit past the pitcher's mound. A man shouted, yeah, sneered a little girl. My grandmother can hit better and farther than you. Andy wondered if maybe, just maybe, they were right. After all, he was the shortest player on the team. The Minneapolis Millers and the whole league, even worse. He just couldn't seem to get a hit, no matter how hard he tried. Maybe it's time to quit thought little Andy Euler as a cold drizzle fell from the gray sky. The Minneapolis Millers trailed the St. Paul Saints by three runs. They were down to the final out. The bases were loaded and little Andy Euler was their only hope. But just as he stepped to the batter's box, it began to pour. Time out, yelled the umpire. Wait until the storm cloud passes. But the rain kept coming, and within minutes, the infield had turned to mud, and the field was spotted with puddles. Play on, the umpire finally yelled. He was hoping for one quick out. With little Andy Euler up, he knew the chances of that were good. Andy's cold hands trembled as he tightened his grip on the bat. Bring us home, kid, shouted Maloney, taking his lead off first. Just keep your eye on the ball, yelled Yeager, standing ankle deep in a puddle just left of second base. And whatever you do, don't strike out, growled Slugger McCreary, wringing out his jersey on third. The pitcher wound up and fired a fast ball. Sorry, fired a fast ball. But the wet ball slipped as, his, as it left his hand and went hurtling straight toward little Andy Euler's head. Look out, yelled Mahoney. Duck, screamed Jaeger, covering his eyes. And don't strike out, shouted McCreary. Andy braced himself. But just when he expected the ball to hit him, he heard the unmistakable sound of a ball against bat. Crack! Somehow, Andy's bat had hit the ball. Everyone heard it. Nobody saw where it went. And little Andy Euler took off for first. He popped it up! The catcher shouted. I saw the ball go straight up! He ran circles around home plate ready to catch a ball when it fell in the sky. But it never did. I think it's in the pot this puddle, the first baseman shouted. I saw it land right there here. He splashed and splashed, but still, the ball was nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, Slugger McCreary strutted across home plate. The score was three to one. Euler stole, stole the ball. Check his pockets, the Saint fans yelled. Andy raced towards second. The second baseman stood in his way. Come here, you little thief, he growled. The second baseman dove, but Andy jumped right over him. He rounded set second and headed for third as Jaeger slid safely home. The score was three to two. What did you do with the ball? The pitcher screamed at the catcher. I didn't do anything, yelled the catcher. It just disappeared. As they were arguing, Maloney slid between them and crossed home plate. The score was tied. Andy tagged third and headed for home, but the muddy second baseman was hot on his trail. I'm going to get you, the second baseman yelled. With every step, he drew closer and closer. But just as he ready, was ready to pounce on Andy, he tripped and fell face down.
down in the mud. Little Indy Oiler cross home plate with a winning run. When we scored four runs, we win, yelled Miller's manager. It doesn't count, shouted the Saints manager. Nobody knows where the ball went. Ah, groaned the second baseman. I tripped on a rock and twisted my ankle. The umpire scratched his head. There weren't any rocks when I raked the field this morning, he said. Oh, yeah, said the second baseman. Then what's this? Fair ball, shouted the umpire. The Millers win. The Millers jump for joy. The fans rush the field and everyone crowded around little Andy Euler, the big hero of, hero of Minneapolis. And there's a picture. It says epilog. Even though his home run traveled only a few feet in front of home plate, it seemed to break Andy Euler out of his slump. He had three hits the next day, and by the end of that season, he was one of Minneapolis's Miller's best players. The St. Saint Paul Saints fans kept making fun of Andy for being so short, but it didn't bother him one bit. He knew that he didn't have to hit a ball over the fence to help his team. He just had to play hard and have fun. And that's what Andy Euler did, even on the days when he couldn't seem to get a hit. No matter how hard he tried, Andy loved playing for the Millers, and the fans of Nicol Nicolette Park loved to watch him play. Andy Euler never did hit another home run, but while the other, other records have come and gone, no player has come close to doing what he did on that muddy day back in 1903 when the shortest player in the league became the hero by hitting the shortest run in baseball history. There's a picture of his team. All right, and that was it. There is an author's note in the back. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed the story of Andy Euler and Mudball. Bye, guys.